That is incredible bullshit. Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And a group of 50 Rhino Republicans, at least they claim they're Republicans, there's almost none of them I've even heard of. I'll show you the letter. And what they've done is they've signed this letter, which of course just somehow gets picked up by the media. The letter says, we're not going to vote for Trump. Well, la de da These are basically Hillary supporters. There's no real surprises because they're people there are people no one's ever heard of. Group of 50 top Republican national security officials on Monday penned a letter warning that Donald Trump doesn't have the experience to serve as president and would jeopardize the country's safety, according to the New York Times. I've already gone over that in a different video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, need I remind you that they didn't have any problem with Barack Obama, who served only one term as a senator, and didn't, ha didn't have any business experience, any managerial experience at all. Trump has plenty of that. Letter signed by aides and cabinet members of GO, past GOP administrations, including George W. Bush's and Richard Nixon's, declared that none of the officials will vote for the GOP nominee because they are convinced that he'd be a very dangerous president and would put our risk our country's national security and well-being. Mr. Trump lacks the character, values, and experience to be president. That's bullshit. Letter says he weakens U.S. moral authority as the leader of the free world. Oh my God! You want to look at what Hillary would do? The kids lack basic knowledge about the belief in the U.S. Constitution, the U.S. laws, and U.S. institutions, including religious tolerance, freedom of the press, and an independent judiciary. That is a lie. He's, he's going to clean up the judiciary. I'm convinced of that. Officials predict that Trump will be the most reckless president in American history. That is subjective. Some of the prominent officials, including Michael Hayden, former director of both CIA and National Security Agency, Michael Chertoff, former Secretary of Homeland, Homeland Security for Bush, and Obama, John Negroponte, Tom Ridge, where it comes as some Top Republicans have publicly declared that they won't vote for Trump this fall and will instead support Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. Well, there's your uh, clue. These are liberals who support Clinton. New York Times points out notably missing from the letter of former Secretaries of State Henry Kissinger, George P. Schultz, James Baker III, Colin Powell, Condoleezza Rice. Trump met with both Kissinger and Baker a few months ago. So let's go take a look at that letter. All right, here's the letter dutifully picked up by New York Times, which is nothing more than a leftist propaganda rag. It's not a newspaper. It does not deserve to call itself a newspaper. Undersigned individuals have all served in senior national security and or Foreign policy positions for, in Republican administrations from Richard Nixon to George W. Bush. We have worked directly on national security issues with these Republican presidents and or their principal advisors during wartime and other periods of crisis through successes and failures. 
We know personal qualities required of the President of the United States. None of us will vote for Donald Trump. So why did you write this letter? What's the point of writing this letter? You're entitled to your vote in private, sure, but, uh... From a foreign policy perspective, Donald Trump is not qualified to be President and Commander-in-Chief, and indeed we are convinced that he would be a dangerous President and put at risk our country's national security and well-being. Now, he wants to get this country back to where it's uh, supposed to be, and that means closing the borders and instilling a sense of national pride, etc. Most fundamentally, Trump lacks character, values, and experience to be president. He weakens U.S. moral authority as the leader of the free world. That is a lie. Hillary uh, would be far worse. He appears to lack basic knowledge about and belief in the Constitution, U.S. laws, and U.S. institutions, including religious tolerance, freedom of the press, and independent judiciary. I already went over that. Uh, he's trying to keep Americans from being butchered by these bastards from the Middle East. And this letter goes on and on, so why don't we just take a look at the list of uh, rhinos. I'll scroll down. There's Michael Shortoff. Certainly in front of him. Most of these are no names that no one's ever heard of. You know, the media would have you believe that these are people are these big hot shots and whatnot. Nobody's ever heard of them. There's Negroponte. Heard of him. This is pretty much irrelevant. Other than the uh, media is going to hype it because they want to hurt Trump. We ought to get together, uh, some prominent people ought to get together and, uh, Trump supporters and write a letter to the Times and like this and saying, yes, we are voting for Trump. He's the best thing from the country and see how they react, see if they even print it. I seriously doubt they would. New York Times has left us rag. It, is there to get communists in office? That's what they do. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.